Hey there, gang. So I know Facebook isn't exactly uh, the platform for my personal bitching sessions, but uh, I don't know. I just needed to get some things off my chest and figure maybe somebody be listening and uh, I don't know. It's always worth it for me to get it out rather than hold on to it. But uh, just having a, one of those all around uh, fundamentally shitty days that. Uh, that I can't seem to shake. I feel like that, who remembers that Nick Schwartzen comedy sketch where he's talking about getting drunk one night and he uh, punches his best friend in the face, breaks up with his girlfriend and shits his pants. And then the next day he doesn't know which one to deal with first. <laughs> That's kind of how I feel. I got all these scenarios that I'm responsible for or have my hand in or I need to delegate properly and I, I don't know where to start uh, or how to follow through necessarily and um, really I mean it just we got so many places that we can affect that so many people that we can help with our mission um, so many schools and organizations and, and people that we can reach that we can affect positively with our dogs like like Jack here and, and um, to be honest with you I all the only example I need to not feel sorry for myself and be Stoked is right here. I mean, he's uh, he's having a much worse day than me, and he seems to be fine. You know, he uh, is very easy to to give and receive love, and uh, I'm having a hard time doing that today. There's uh, a lot of it has to do with the amount of phone calls and messages we get that um, come from people that we can't help. You know, these are people that have dogs that have found dogs, and um. We can direct them in the right place, but we can't accept their dogs because we don't have a shelter. We don't have a, and there's only so much we can do. We can direct them in the right place, but we can't save them. And, um, you know, they tend to come at you pretty hard when, when you can't fix their problem. You know, after all, you're a dog rescue. Why can't you, why can't you help? You know, so I'm having a hard time figuring out whether I'm, I'm doing too much or, or not doing enough. And, um, you know, just call after call after call today, people that were just pissed. Because, you know, I didn't, and I, of course, wasn't giving them my best. You know, I wasn't exactly customer service. Um, I don't know. I wasn't very <laughs> very bright today, to be honest with you. I think I was waiting for somebody to piss me off so I could just lose it. And um, I think that I did finally lose it, and that was on one of my best friends today, which made the situation even worse. And, um, yeah, that's just never worth it. Absolutely never worth it. I feel absolutely cruddy for having done so, and... I mean, there's, it takes two to tango and, you know, both of us are responsible for our parts and the argument we have today, but definitely should have paused before I said anything, before I wrote anything. So, um, if you're thinking about getting in a fight with one of your pals today, take, take my advice and don't do it or, um, write it down, you know, talk it out with somebody before you say anything and don't text it, um, get it out of your system beforehand and. It's just never worth it. It's not worth it. And um, I don't know why I'm 34 years old and I still haven't learned that. That uh, kind of uh, throwing a temper tantrum doesn't solve anything. Um, Got to take time to breathe and give it away a little bit. Um, so now I'm off to go pick up my mom. Kind of excited about that. Moms have a way to, you know, they're just moms. They have a way to uh, brighten your day and uh, kind of make things okay. And they'll hear you out no matter how ridiculous you sound. How ridiculous you're being, you know, usually uh, have a polite way of suggesting that you try an alternative or just nod and agree with you. Um, so Shannon Grove, an equally wonderful lady, has invited us to a dinner um, with a lot of her political constituents that uh, hopefully we can go raise some money for the Mutts at and, uh, you know, share with people our our goal and um, what we're trying to do with Marley's Mutts and help more guys like Jack here who's passed out wish i could nap right now but it's on to bakersfield and i know you guys aren't my sponsor and you guys aren't uh you know my higher power by any means but um sometimes if i don't know if there's somebody else <laughs> somebody else out there that uh, is having a crappy day and needed to watch somebody else have one and uh and i'll, I'll be that dude so i really truth truly hope you guys are having good days and, and hope um you know grab a hold of your mutt whether it's somebody like jack or uh 
or um, maybe even a Marley's Mutt that you adopted from us. And uh, send us some love your way. Give us some updates. That'd be a great way to manifest it or to end a end a cruddy day. Is, uh, help send some some Marley's Mutt's updates of uh, former dogs that that uh, used to live here with me or used to live here with us and and uh, send us send us those updates so we can update Facebook. Anyways, that's enough out of me. Um, thank you guys for letting me bitch. And uh, Jackson's his best, although he's kind of camera shy right now. Jack. Hey, buddy. Hey, bud. Say hi to the people. Yeah, buddy. What are you doing, pal?